Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be using up one of our brand new paper pads. This one is called Gentle Blooms and we're going to create a set of cards using the Call Me Crafty Elves sheet load of cards uh, February 2024 sketch. Uh, so we're going to use, um, like I said, this Gentle Blooms one uh, first of all because I really love these papers. Uh, so we've got a couple of florals in here, we've got some leaves and then we do have some gingham and um, a really nice sort of a spotted kind of background here. Uh, the colours work so beautifully together, hopefully you can um, see the colours nicely on screen. Uh, we've got kind of that sage and then we've got those uh, kind of um, peaches and sort of light pinks in there as well. So this is going to work really beautifully. Uh, so we're going to use a couple of sheets from that pack and then I'm going to show you so this is the um, Call Me Crafty Elves sheet loads of a card. So this is the sketch and supply list. So I will link to the video where she sort of debuts um, this card design that you can see here. Uh, so go ahead and check that out in the description box down below. If you want to print these or just have it up on the computer for yourself, uh, then you can find the link to that in her video. I'll also leave the link to her YouTube channel as well, uh, where you can see all of the previous um, sheet loads of cards uh, that she has done. So this is the design that we've got here. So because she's based in the US, uh, her cards are A2 US size, which I think um, is uh, five and a quarter by four and a half or the other way around, I can't 100% remember, but they're different to our sizes here in the UK. Now, if you've been watching me for long enough, you know that the card bases that uh, I use are UK A6, um, but I make mine a little bit smaller so I can get two uh, card bases from a sheet of A4 cardstock, and I make my cards then just a tinsy bit smaller to make the measurements a little bit easier to work out. So then my finished cards measure four inches by five and three quarter inches. So on her templates here, you can find the dimensions uh, to what she is cutting her patterned paper and her cardstock to here. Um, you've also got supplies, uh, alternatives that you can use with this card, uh, and then a channel member bonus on there as well. But go to her video to check all of this out. Um, but what I've done is just converted the measurements to work for uh, our size here in the UK if you want to create an A6 card. Uh, and then she has another sheet as well, which just shows you um, the card basis. So with her measurements, with uh, four sheets of 12, uh, sorry, six by six papers. Uh, you can create eight cards. You've got the um, coloured cardstock with doing some semicircles in here and then just how to cut up um, those sheets. But like I said, on the screen, what you're going to see is my measurements to how I have converted her measurements to suit us here in the UK. Um, so yeah, do if you're interested, do check out her video on um, her channel which I will leave a link to in the description box down below. So I'm going to move that to one side. Um, we can then get started uh, with our cards. So I'm going to do a little voiceover for that while I'm cutting to give you sort of the measurements and things like that. And uh, with the other couple of videos that I've done using these sheet loads of cards, what I have um, done is just created, I've done all the cutting and then I've created one card on camera so you can see that and then I've finished the rest of them uh, off screen as well. Now, uh, I think... Based on how much patterned paper we're going to be using, and um, I think here we're going to get, you could get quite a lot of cards. So I'm not 100% sure how many we're actually going to make. Um, her measurements with the uh, six by six papers, you create eight cards, I think it was. Uh, so we'll see how many we create uh, in this video. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, first of all, I do need to pick the papers that I'm going to be using. So we've got two contrasting patterns here, and then some uh, colored cardstock, and then we're going to create this semicircle uh, here as well. So yeah, let's get into it. So the patterned paper we're going to be using for today's cards is going to be the sage gingham and then we're going to use the floral with the white background because they work really nicely together and this is going to create eight cards for us. So you'll need two sheets of patterned paper, three sheets of coloured card which could be two full sheets and then some scraps if you've got that uh, and then of course eight card bases and I'm using A6. So the measurements you can see on screen here, if you want to create one or two of these card designs, not uh, all eight of them like I am, then you can follow the measurements and cut your pattern to paper however you like with these on screen and then you just need to add your mats and layers. 
if you are doing all eight cards like I am then you're going to make your first cut into your patterns paper at five and a quarter inch then you're going to cut six strips at three quarters of an inch and then two strips at one and three quarter inches so your six thinner strips is going to be for your outside panels then you've got your wider panel um for your centers so we do need to cut a couple more of this out of the second panel I did end up cutting them slightly wrong my middle panel I ended up doing a quarter of an inch too short with what I'm actually cutting in this this footage um but you'll see when i create my second set of cards at the end when i show you you'll see how they do vary slightly they still work but it does vary so to get the rest of our vertical panels that we need we're going to cut the remainder down to five and a quarter inch then we're going to cut two strips at one and three quarter inches and two strips at three quarters of an inch this will give you enough then to make four cards with all the same panels so what you want to do then is repeat all of this cutting with uh, your second piece of patterned paper and we can create an alternating design then you'll have enough panels for everything to create your eight cards then our last um one we're going to do is our uh, horizontal strip so you're going to cut four strips to three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters of an inch so that gives you everything to be able to create all eight of our cards if you cut exactly the same from both sheets of patterned paper for our coloured card now we're going to create the bases the matte and layer bases so you're going to take one sheet of a four coloured card we're going to cut that to uh, five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches and you'll get four panels and then you want to do the same again with your second sheet now with the matte and layer for the horizontal strip you might be able to get this out of um, the scraps that you can see collecting to the side um, they're going to measure an inch wide I can't off the top of my head remember if I could get these pieces out of here I think they could have been slightly too short but if you want to use those scraps then just make your horizontal panel slightly smaller so you can use that scrap if you want to uh, otherwise use some of your other scraps that you've got um, as well you can see I'm doing here is just cutting some of these down so for the mats and layers for the horizontal piece um, so you can see I'm cutting them too big here but you want eight strips measuring one inch by three and three quarter inches that means you're going to have a nice mat and layer from your patterned paper and it's going to go edge to edge with your um, background mat panel as well so again I'm following the design on the crafty owl um, uh, sheet that we've got I'm just adapting it to fit our card bases and really to use as much patterned paper on here as possible so on the design you saw that there was a semicircle so I'm going to cut this just for, from some white card like she did and this is going to work really nicely on our um, card design just having that white is going to help our sentiment be nice and bold so she had on her instructions to cut four and then you're going to cut them in half so I picked a circle die um, unfortunately I picked one that was too small to then cut in half and be big enough to put our sentiment on so that was a little frustrating um, so I literally then just went ahead and cut four more of the full circles and I just used the full circle on my card. For the second set of cards, again, which you will see, um, I did pick a bigger circle. I went the next size up in my nesting dies uh, and then I did end up cutting those in half. Um, I think she also has, I'm just checking, uh, if you are a channel member, she has an SVG file that you can um, uh download I'm guessing uh, to um, cut those semicircles for you so definitely go back to her channel she'll have all the information in her video and in her description box so you can see that I was looking at trimming these down and then they were just going to be too small so like I said I just ended up keeping them as full circles and then I wanted to add another element so I picked out this is I, I don't think I've ever shown these in a video before but I had them uh, for a commission so these are the Tim Holtz um, little bird dies that I had and then I literally just ink blended onto some scrap card uh i want to say it was bundled sage that i used uh just to color in these birds die cut them uh, and then yeah just having them as an extra element on my card i thought they worked really nice with the sentiment that we're going to be using as well so i'm just laying out my design so you can see here that this center uh, panel this wider panel i cut this to one and a half inches but the measurements i've given you is for uh, one and three quarter inches uh, so i wanted that thinner gap in between my pieces of patterns paper uh if you if you like it as it is then cut your centerpiece to one and a half inch not um 
one and three quarters but I prefer it to have a smaller gap in between because I want you to see more of that patterned paper then you can see I put my horizontal strip over this and yeah that's when I realized that, that it was um just too long so I had to go and trim all of those down but again what I trim down off of this I use inside the card which when I walk through the cards with you at the end you will see how I've used just those bits of scraps to go on the inside of the cards but this is why you want to make sure that you know exactly what you're cut into because when you cut into your patterned paper um you know if you've only got like one sheet of it and you want to make multiple cards um it's quite you know you want to make sure that you're getting all of the pieces that you need out of it so making sure that you are cut into the right size is really really important something that i am uh, learning so now we're going to assemble this card together so you can see I'm just putting my outside pieces on first because I know I've got that bigger gap um, of where you're going to see the patterned paper um, I just sort of brought them in um, those side panels in a little bit from where I normally would and you can see then I added my centerpiece I find it easier to do the outside pieces than do that centerpiece because uh, you can just make sure you get everything nicely lined up and then for our piece that goes across our horizontal piece, this is um, edge to edge at the end, but you've got that matting layer that you can see top and bottom. So I want to make these spring cards, um, hence then the birds. And obviously then these papers will use uh, for Mother's Day, which you will see my next set of cards I created um, had a Mother's Day sentiment. But these will work for spring as well. They're not, you know, specific to anything. So I took from this die set, it was a Simon Says stamp one, it was an Easter set. Um, so I took the Hello in this really nice little hand handwritten um, style font. And then it had a uh, outline of the word spring. So I thought this would pair really nicely together. So I popped it into my stamping platform because obviously I need to stamp eight of these and did all of the Hello in the black. And then went ahead and stamped the spring and I used dried marigold distressing. I had to do this a couple of times for each of my stamping uh, just to get a nice uh, stamp here again I don't think the distressings are really made for stamping like this I think they are more for ink blending that, that's just my personal opinion but if you stamp it a couple of times and that's really what makes a stamping platform a really invaluable piece of kit to have in your stash so I just went ahead and carried on in a, a sort of production line with this uh, and got all of those sentiments stamped. And then we can go ahead and carry on putting our card together. So we've got our uh, strips, our panels down first. I'm going to glue this onto my card base. So again, my card bases are four inches by five and three quarter inches because um, then I can get two of these panels from one sheet of uh, A4 paper. Uh, so I'm just working out my kind of placement of where I want my um, circle to go. So I make sure that you can't see the circle underneath um, my my strip across. I make sure that that's hidden. So it still does look like the semicircle, uh, but obviously it's not. Um, it is just that full circle ends there. So once I've got that glued down, I'm going to glue down my horizontal panel uh, and then I'm going to add some foam. I thought obviously it was all looking quite flat. Uh, on my second card, I do add the strips on with... Uh, some foam because I don't have another element like this bird on my second set of cards but I thought it would fit quite nicely next to my uh, hello spring sentiment so here are our finished cards using this Gentle Blooms paper pad. So you can see I've made two different cards uh, using four different sheets of patterned paper from our pack um, <clears throat> and two different themes as well just to show you that you can use these for either or really anything that you want. Uh, and I did create two of our envelopes um, as well. So let's just move those ones to one side for the moment. Um, <clears throat> so these are the ones that you saw me uh, create one of them on screen here. Um, so we have the uh, variation uh, again where then we're having um, the alternates uh, of what's like in the middle and what's on the outside. You could keep it all the exact same if you wanted to but I think it's really nice to mix the papers together especially because they work so well together. We have um, the Hello Spring and we brought in a little extra colour in there. We've brought in the little die cut as well which I just think works really really nicely and we had that uh, yellow Nouveau Drops in there as well just to really finish these off 
off so you can see how well they work uh, for your spring cards and certainly coming into spring as well something um, quite nice and happy uh, here just after our real uh, winter certainly what we've had here in the UK um, it'll be nice to have something really bright and beautiful to have on a display so we had our eight cards again that was using two of our patterns of paper and um, I really love how these came out I love the design uh, in here and adding again just um, some extra elements that you've got in your stash is going to work perfectly uh, with these cards uh, yeah I think it's a real great card design so I want to bring in both of these cards next to each other uh, because the measurements are slightly different so what the measurements are on screen that you saw earlier in the video is to create this card here um, the only thing that I did change was I just made this center uh, panel here just a quarter of an inch bigger um, so I obviously got a lot more space uh, on this one in between if you want to have that bigger space then you can uh, obviously just keep it with this which is uh, one and a half inches but I decided to go for this one one and three quarter inch because I wanted to have um, that smaller gap but more of that patterned paper to be seen obviously I want the patterned paper rather than um, the coloured cardstock that we've got uh, underneath so I prefer this one I did also, you would have seen, um, cut this piece. For whatever reason, I cut it to the length of the card, not the width. So I ended up um, having to cut these pieces down as well. But everything, even with the bigger uh, one and three quarter inch panel here, and then this piece here so you can get all of this out of your a4 paper i did have a little bit left over uh, you can see here i just had a couple of, of pieces left but everything um, that you need for this card you can get from that a4 uh, piece so yeah just ever so slightly a variation so it depends what you want if you're happy with the bigger gap go with this with the panel is one and a half inches and um, but if you prefer this design like i do then this middle panel is at one and three quarter inches so you can just follow again those measurements that we had uh, on a screen and with those uh, spare scraps bits as well and certainly the bits that I cut off this um, I decided just to add them on the inside and um, a lot of people do that uh, Crafty Al does that in her cards as well so I thought I would just do the same just to use up those little bits of scraps uh, and just decorate the inside so all of those have got decorations I need to be careful with these ones I haven't brought them all in um, but it's just because the Nouveau drops I've only just done them so I don't want to ruin them but I've done the same there so this is the reverse of uh, that pattern um, again and I think it still works really really nicely so we've got pieces at the bottom or we have that little piece up in the corner as you saw so this is the Mother's Day themed card uh, so with these I ticked that semicircle again with these ones I did um, actually use a bigger circle die here and then I did cut these in half so these are only half circles whereas these ones uh, are full because they was slightly bigger and then I just took a Mother's Day stamp that I had in my stash I think it was from one of the magazines actually one of the older magazines um, so I just stamped that there and just added those same uh, Nouveau drops because I had a bigger sentiment I didn't think I'd have space to add another element so I just popped it right into the middle and I still really love how these ones are looking so I'll move these to the side of course as I've done in my previous videos I did make uh, a couple of envelopes here as well using my envelopes punch board um, so again a lot of these papers um, that aren't specifically directional are going to work beautifully for uh, creating your matching envelopes so they just fit in there like that. What you could do as well as match, because you've got your two sheets of A4 in your pack, is you could match your envelope with some of the patterned paper that you do have uh, in uh, your card design. So that is our first one. Again, lends itself really, really nicely to um, being made into an envelope because of the direction. And then we've got this lovely spotted one here as well, and that beautiful kind of peachy colour. And again, then, so the envelopes that I created here, these are the A2 sized uh, envelopes on the punch board. Um, I think the A6, I'm not sure, because I think the paper has to be eight and seven eighths of an inch. And I don't think um, you can get that from this uh, A4 paper. So I made the A2 uh, size and they fit perfectly uh, in here. You've got just that little bit of space at the top, but yeah, they fit uh, really, really wonderfully in here. So that is using the Gentle Blooms patterned paper that's gone on sale today so I'll leave a link in the description box down below over to my Etsy shop where you can pick up uh, this new paper pad the other two paper pads and any of my previous ones uh, as well so let me know what you think in the comment section down below don't forget if you want to uh, check out the um 
sheet loads of cards template then go over to Crafty Owl's uh, video which again will be linked in the description box down below and you can have that up on screen while you craft or you can uh, download it and print it as well so that's going to be it for this video so thanks very much for watching and happy crafting